So I just left the biggest Goodwill I've ever seen. It's like super sized. I felt a little bit uncomfortable because there were like just too many hipsters in there. And that's what I think I hate about Asheville in general. There's just too many people my age that kind of have that like overblown sense of style or like the cool kids. I mean, I feel like there's a better way I could describe it, but the easiest way to describe it is hipsters. And when I'm around a bunch of people like that, it just, it makes me feel like I'm one of them because I have a similar style to some of those people but I don't want to self-identify and consider myself a hipster because I want to think that I just have a unique, genuine style based on like what I think is cool. But I guess that's how a lot of people that are hipsters perceive themselves. So it's like, I don't know, just the type of people that live in Asheville, I guess make me feel insecure about myself and the fact that people might consider me a hipster and I know that's like my own issue and I, I shouldn't like dislike an entire city because of that but that's kind of like just seeing the other people like my age the millennial hipsters in there just made me feel like uncomfortable I guess that's something I need to try to work on um but I guess the first step is recognizing it and acknowledging out loud so that's what I'm doing <laughs> So this painting I wanted to talk about specifically because it was one of the kind of most basic looking as far as like rendering something super realistic. It looks fairly simplistic and kind of juvenile as far as like the artistic style, but this was definitely one of my favorites just because of the theme and kind of the overall emotional reaction it evoked in me it's got the church with the graveyard and then right in front of it the antique store and it made me think a lot about how when people pass away all the physical objects and belongings they leave behind how other people might sell them off or make money off of them and just see them as things or antiques but ultimately, those things are what compose the life of whoever owned them previously. So antiques can just be seen as this kind of valuable thing that you're going to sell after someone's gone. But at the same time, it represents their life. And it's, it's kind of what their life was composed of collecting and investing their time and energy into those things. So that's something that has really been on my mind ever since my grandmother passed away. So this painting in particular, like, like really kind of made me emotional. So I just wanted to talk about it and share that because I thought it was, it was special to me.
So I'll talk about my lunch just to continue the theme of commentating on my meals, but I don't particularly have that much to say about this place. I think it was called Tizo Japanese or something like that, but I don't even care to verify because it wasn't particularly good. I had the yellow tail with jalapeno appetizer. It had truffle oil on it. In my opinion, truffle oil ruins pretty much anything you put it on, but it was it was whatever. And then this is it's like a seafood noodle bowl. And the broth was okay, I guess, but overall it was bland. It just wasn't an impressive meal, but it was like filling enough. Warm soup always feels good in your belly, so it was whatever. So I haven't filmed as much today. But I got plenty of photos to make a little montage. Walking towards the show now, feeling that nervous excitement that one tends to feel before a show. And yeah, let's see how it is.